Welcome back. So today I'm going to be working on trying to learn what is this Simba library. Uh, I was referred to this library by a person who played the game RuneScape and they used a similar tool in order to um, automate some tasks such as just logging in. I don't know what else they did with it but I see that recently there's this game out there called Stardew Valley, which is certainly intended for desktop use, and nobody would be offended in any way if somebody were to macro that game. And I'm curious, can this like symbol library be used to meaningfully macro any aspects of this beautiful game? I'd like to be able to control it, I don't want to be clicking the mouse a thousand times just to do something. So, this is totally legit, totally permitted by all its terms of service and so on and so forth. Um, and, yeah, I want to figure out how do I download this. Um, yeah, they advise that this only works well on Windows, so we were going to do this on Windows. Uh, so I click the link, and I click the link, and I click the link, and okay, go to download and download the Simba installer. Is there a download here? No. <laughs> oh, here we are. Download. Simba installer. Cool. Run. Yeah, let's do it. Sure. C colon Simba. Whatever. Good enough. Sure, why not? Oh, well, that was difficult. All right. Message. 8 January 2016, Whiz Up says, As always, see you on our homepage. Hakuna Matata. New fonts available. Current version, negative 1. Latest version, 16. Successfully installed the new fonts. Freeing the current fonts creating new ones now. Okay, cool. Um, that's a pretty advanced program we got there now, isn't it? Okay, so let's, installation notes if you want to run whatever. Um, development releases, not going to bother with that. Previous releases, what's next? Good guide on how to continue. It's in the documentation. All right. Um, so we've installed it, sure. Um, it seems like a library. Um, could also install scripts, but let's, uh, let's start with getting this big old library, even if I'm not going to use most of it. Go to view extensions and enable SRL view extensions menu okay uh, can we view extensions okay there we go and enable SRL oh there's these all these other things now that's pretty cool um, why would I not just want all the things I mean Yes, yeah, so we're enabling Simba extensions, hence the really strange file extension there. This is for the Simba uh, development, no, the Simba program, really. It's not a development tool, although it really purports itself to be one. It's more of an environment than anything else. Um, yeah, and I don't think I necessarily need the other stuff, but let's say let's enable SRL SPS plugins updater. Okay. Sure. Uh, extensions updater is already enabled. No, it's not. Huh, whatever. Yeah, in fact, this is something they recommend updating, so let's uh, enable that so it can update these extensions automatically as updates are made available. Um, anything else? I don't think so. I think I'm probably okay. Let's go back. Simba extensions for more information on other extensions. This is the only supported way to get extensions. 
Um, okay. <laughs> Script manager's not finished yet. So let's go to the other page in the document. Um, recommended extension updater, SRL updater, associate files, and security extension. Okay, security extension seems like a reasonable thing. You know, while I've got the hood open. Oh man. Sure. Uh, associate files. Oh, what the heck? Why not? Okay. I think that's fine. So. Um, I did read through a couple code examples. I did not watch two. I watched like five minutes of a 15 minute video, and I was just skipping through like each segment of the video. Um, basically, people explain how to use this tool, um, but they don't really explain the philosophy behind any of this. Okay. Uh, security extension disabled because it did not compile. Uh, file association uh, extension disabled because it didn't compile. Um, all right, so let's check for updates. And just do this a few times and see if it can... Okay, nice. Um, oh, wait, no, it said it disabled some of these, didn't it? Like, whatever. Let me try relaunching Simba and see if it tries to re-update things. Okay, so it loads some fonts. Nice. Simba was down for a bit and it seems it doesn't cope with that too well. We should fix that. I made regular backups and now moved everything to a faster server. Uh, some developers have been working on Simba quite a bit again. I've been hoping to do a new release over the next month. January of last year. Okay, well, let me know if you actually get a release done. <laughs> for developers. I assume this is for people who actually uh, develop the Simba tool. And not necessarily for... Um, well, actually, maybe it's just for all developers. Yeah, why don't I just go enable all the extensions, basically. DTM. Don't know what that stands for. Don't care. It might be useful. Paster. Sure, that doesn't sound bad. Uh, crash recovery. Yeah, why not? Formatter. Sure. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah, let's just enable all the extensions, basically. Um, <laughs> check for updates. Update all the updates. Or download all the updates. Um... Plugins updater, downloading, decompressing, reticulating splines. Okay, cool. You have a new update available. Downloading. Okay, that's cool. There's 1,358 revisions between my local version and the remote version. Um, oh, looks like there's a SRL6 library. Who would have guessed? Okay. Again, I have no intention whatsoever of using this for RuneScape. Um, my objective is to see to what extent this can script other Windows games. Um, and it could be hacked and or used in some more utilitarian way um, to do something, I don't know. Let's check for updates again. And once we've got everything installed, as we do, um, then go on to the next step. Um, next step of the table of contents. I mean, what is Simba? I guess I never had answered this. It's a program that can repeat complicated tasks. It can find and read colors on a screen. Click to move the mouse to a position or click or move the mouse to a specific position on the screen. Convert it uh, using OCR. 
Uh, capture and analyze images. Read and write files. Connect to the internet to read websites and post data to them. Run Pascal programs. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Simba is itself Pascal-based. All the examples I've seen, they've made it repeated mentions to Pascal. Um, so, or Pascal. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, and he's a famous scientist, too. Um, uh, I want to say Pascal, if I remember right, but it's been years. Um, anyhow, so it says start to understand this by installing it. Currently, it's still in its beta stages, including documentation is in the beta stage. And Simba's being updated almost every day to see that. Go here to GitHub. Last updated, I don't know, over a month ago. Eh. I mean, that's a really bold, ambitious claim that it's being updated almost every day. But, you know, it's free. You can't complain too badly. Um, and... Yeah, the author is pretty clear and transparent about this is in beta, and the documentation's in beta, and you'll probably know some things are not completed. Why Simba? Well, it's free. It's extensible in that you can actually... It has some ability to work with DLL files, or I assume on Linux, if it were to run on Linux, it would support shared object files. So you can extend Simba uh, to use closed source applications. Uh, it's reliable because the people who develop it know what they're doing and they're transparent in their bug reporting. It's cross-platform allegedly, although this is probably still in beta. Um, there are some attempts being made to port this to OS X. Um, uh, wait, they actually support this on Linux. Um, huh. I don't know if I believe that. But yeah, they're fast and open-minded and debug-friendly and well-documented, except... <laughs> at least they're... the rest of that's true. Um, yeah. This is all subject to GPL v3, so that's pretty cool. Um, next topic, getting started with Simba. And this is where I did start our uh, stream here today. And you'll note that I just downloaded everything, downloaded all the extensions. Uh, next topic, let's go back to our table of contents and see troubleshooting. Where's my editor? Where are my extensions? Reporting bugs. Detailed uh, feature overview. Um, okay, we'll go there. It seems a bit ambitious has some fancy features, the most basic operations, as well as detailed information about settings, which will be explained here. Um, you know, probably could have been worded better, but okay. Um, yeah, scripts are available from the script manager. Um, yeah, I don't know how much I care about some of this. There's a settings form. Ooh, you can use the settings form to modify the settings. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know how much I care about some of the nitty-gritty details. Um, I suppose I'll try to use this as reference documentation as I encounter issues. Although they put troubleshooting ahead of this section, so I guess you're expected to encounter trouble and then try to use this uh, sparse documentation to help you a bit. Um, it's well organized. It's honest documentation. I really appreciate that. <sighs> oh man! <laughs> All extensions are available in the extensions folder. DTM editor. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's about. I assume DTM is used for debugging, troubleshooting manager, or something. I don't know. Just guessing. Um, tutorial. Is this where I want to start? Sure. Introduction. Oh, that's why I was avoiding this. Right. I knew there was a reason why I didn't want to start here. And I knew I'd looked at this page before. Um, so, how's everybody doing? How are you with me so far? 
Okay, this is just hilarious, though. Um, at least this is well decomposed. I mean, introduction, basics, input, input, colors, so forth, and so on. Um, yeah, I didn't think this is going to go for too far. Scripting reference, mouse. Oh, okay, so at least uh, all the nitty-gritty details are uh, documented. But yeah, if in terms tool. Um, probably having an introduction to how does any of this work might be useful. Uh, although I'm guessing there are reasons why um, the site just has to move a couple times and I don't know. I don't want to get bogged down into legality, but there's probably some legal challenge out there. Although this page is perfectly upfront and honest about this is just a program. This does not itself have any scripts. This itself does not do anything wrong. It's a very useful tool for automating repeated tasks. Um, it has nothing to do uh, with anything illicit. Um, uh, so, scripting reference, MML, MML. The Mufasa Macro Library. Used not just to provide scripts with required functionality, but also to pick colors and select windows with Simba itself. It can run without any user interface. Um. See, when I hear MML, I'm thinking like Macromedia Library. So that's tripping me up pretty badly, but I don't, that's just my problem. Um. section needs to explain more on the core versus add-on differences. You know, I might not need to get into MML. Um, it's the core library used by Simba. Used not just to provide scripts within the required functionality, uh, but also is used by Simba itself. And it can run... Oh, so Simba is a layer on top of MML. Um, okay. This is uh, then diving very deep into things that I probably shouldn't be diving as somebody just starting to learn the language. Um, Simba reference, script manager, oh, what? Wait, you have a Simba reference section, an MML reference section, and then... What was that other section? Introduction to Simba. Okay, well, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I guess this makes sense. Because this is just a reference. Itself, an explanation or a, of an introduction to Simba. This is just a reference guide to Simba. <laughs> oh, you are such the joker. Don't you dare. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's just get a measure of how we're doing time-wise. 21 minutes. I've successfully downloaded Simba, installed it, installed all the extensions. Um, writing Simba extensions. I don't think that's what I'm seeking to do. Let's just enhance Simba itself. Writing Simba plugins. Um, again, not what I'm seeking to do. Okay. Uh, great. Perfect. Um, yeah, I think they heavily rely on their forums, as the documentation is somewhat incomplete. But at least they're honest, and they spend all their time developing and who, need, who has time to document things when you're just ready to develop? <laughs> uh, starting points are what is Simba? Getting started with Simba. Okay, fine. And the scripting reference. But, wait. Where is this in the documentation? 
Um, oh wait, no, this is covering how do you use a mouse, how do you use a keyboard. This is just a reference guide as to all the functions that are available to you. This is not an introduction to how to do useful things. Although how to do useful things can be established through the introduction sections of the reference guide. I'm thinking whoever wrote this documentation is either a genius or they're retarded, and I can't tell which. Um, okay. Deformable template models. Um, a relatively simple way of defining a relationship between several points. Each of these points have a relative offset with, to each other. Uh, structure looks like this. Okay, so this is like a template um, with some kind of fuzzy logic in it to define uh, stuff. We don't need to necessarily go there, but so we got a reference, a script reference that tells us if you write a script, this is what it does. But there's nothing in this documentation to help you write the script in the first place. If you want help, you've got to go to the forum. Um, Sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't give a damn about RuneScape. I just want to know, can I do anything useful with this Simba library? Like, how hard is it to get this to do anything other than a RuneScape bot? Mm, FAQ. There we go. Um, how to install, set up Simba, regulations, da, da, da. Um, project tools, what makes a good issue description. I mean, surely, surely there's got to be some way um, to use this to do something licit. Um, hmm. General botting help. Okay. FAQ. Is Simba safe to use? Um, oh. Okay. I did read the section earlier about Simba's not a bot, it's a program. Everything about Simba itself is perfectly, totally legal. And it's a really useful tool for automating complicated, repeatable tasks. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Simba itself. Uh, so, guide to all the SRL tutorials, help and tutorials, set up Simba. How can I type into smart? Uh, oops. Oh, do I have to log in to get access to this forum? Uh, come on. Okay, let's just read through this. No, I can't read through this either. Um. <laughs> okay, well, um, Hmm. See, the dilemma here is that as soon as I create the account to go view the forum, the next thing is going to be, well, you can't share the, anything in this forum with people outside the forum because that's just how the rules of our forum are set up. And thus ends the stream, and I can't do that. Um, like, there are plenty of forums that have that sort of rule. Um... Learning to read and write your own scripts, sure. Um, okay, when does this go? Oh, this is last updated February. This is last updated today. 
Java help in tutorials. Last updated December. Um, <laughs> some ambitious fellows are trying to get this to work with Java FX. More power to them. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to get a tutorial about this sort of thing here. Um, tutorial. Perfect. One search result. Damn it. Okay. Um, hmm. Anybody got any ideas? Um, because I'm starting to run out of ideas. Yes, I could just start coding. The examples I found via Google are pretty lame, to be honest. Um, and I understand that this uh, application has some autocomplete capability, like if I could just uh, control space and I get a list of everything I can select between and so it could be an interesting experiment oh check this out ASM on and ASM off oh I'm sorry that's AM on and AM off I was thinking it would allow me to drop down into assembly code um, anyway yeah I could just like write a program that randomly selects instructions and then, um, see what that does but yeah there's just too much there's too much of a learning curve and not enough of a reward in pursuing this too much further um, unless I can find a good example to start from uh, Simba 5 tutorial um, yeah, all these are surely going to be in the form of consult the SRL forum or in the form of a video which will focus just on a, a very explicit thing and not be really that... I mean, a tutorial that says how to move the mouse. Okay, that's great. It's not at all what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the beginner's Simba tutorial. Now, I actually read through this earlier um, this is also a pretty shit tutorial. Uh, so... Uh, I have to install Simba. I took them for, at their word. Like, this is a full-fledged IDE. I'll give them that. That's probably generous for me to give them that, but I'll give them that. That's an IDE. Um, it explains all the various types in Pascal. Um, uh, yeah, procedures, functions, I mean this all basically writes like a pretty, like Lua, I mean this, this is scripting language, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Into my editor and just watch it basically do nothing because I'd need to be logged into RuneScape for it to do anything. I guess that's the problem is that like you create the perfect tool but it's dependent upon having an environment in which to test it and so you can't write any reasonable pedantic examples that do anything practical because every environment in which you can run this tool will do something different um, so uh, yeah. I guess what I'm finding. Okay, so at least they explain some of the abbreviations here, like main screen, mini map, main inventory, and so forth. Um, but this is not a very general purpose tutorial. You'd need really a general purpose sort of application. And then. Um, uh, then if you had a general purpose application that ran on all platforms then you could write a general purpose uh, tool 
that would interface with this general purpose application under all sorts of general conditions. And it's just, nobody's got time to do something like that, basically. Um, so I think what that says is that this is still in beta. Um, I made an attempt at trying to understand this, uh, but you know, I might have to um, take a quick break here and next up um, maybe attempt to do something with Phoenix Framework because uh, to be honest after I had recorded that particular session I realized that there was a very important critical step um, in that process that I had just completely overlooked and probably things would have worked a lot better had I been reading the instructions so I guess hang tight, we'll be back in a few minutes and we'll be trying to do something with Phoenix Framework next.